break the silence. I am an ovarian cancer survivor. I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer July 8th, 2003. I was going to the bathroom a lot. I wasn't having a lot of pain, and the doctor at first thought that maybe something was wrong with my uterus, so they did a biopsy my uterus. They came back fine. I had constant constipation, and I started losing a little bit of weight. My abdomen started swelling. When I went back after three months to my gynecologist, he said, Jackie, I think you need to go and have uh, a sonogram. So I went for a sonogram. They did a sonogram. It came back inconclusive. Then I had to go for a CAT scan, and that's when it was discovered that there was a mass. I didn't know, I don't know what I was thinking at the time, because I think I just went blank until I kind of gathered myself together, because I had never heard of ovarian cancer. So when my gynecologist told me that's what it was, I didn't have a clue as to what he was talking about. He had already set up the appointment for me. I went July 3rd. By July 8th, I was on, a, on the operating table having a complete hysterectomy. I went through Taxol and Carboplatin. I had to have six rounds of chemo. I was stage two uh, ovarian cancer. I did have a reoccurrence, and my doctor thought she felt something. So I went, had a CAT scan, and here there was a mass so she wanted me to participate in a study. And that's something else that's really, really important is that you do participate in a study if you're diagnosed with any form of cancer. So naturally I said, sure. And I participated in six rounds of chemo, but it was a different type of chemo. This time I had to go two days in a row. The first day uh, I had an IV in my arm. The next day I had to go back, there was a port in my abdomen, so they put the uh, chemo right on the spot. And as a result, um, I'm cancer free. So I'm really blessed that they came up with this type of uh, procedure. And this procedure wasn't even in existence when I first was diagnosed in 2003. Pittsburgh, I was invited to uh, go to the ovarian cancer walk that we have every September. And it was there that I met so many wonderful women that I saw that, okay, I'm not in on this journey alone. I do a lot of volunteerism as far as picking up the pieces, our PUP program, going to talk to other uh, newly diagnosed ovarian cancer uh, patients. And um, this has been very ful fulfilling uh, for me, is to be involved. You know, you just can't turn your back and say, okay, I have cancer, I'm not going to do anything about it. You have to, you have to be an advocate for cancer. That's why NOCC is very important. It's very important that we raise as much money as we possibly can. It's not just a disease that hits older women, because at one time it was only, okay, 60 and over. But now I'm hearing of people, or, or, or women, 21, uh, and between 21 and 31. I'm finding out that more and more African-American women are being diagnosed, and they're being diagnosed at late stages simply because of the miseducation. As soon as you tell someone that you have cancer, especially ovarian cancer, it's like, I never knew anyone to survive ovarian cancer. And that is so far from the truth. And really, really have faith in your doctor. And to ask questions, I always make a habit. Every time I go to the doctor's office, I have to write down everything I even think I want to ask the doctor. And it's also very important to take someone with you because a lot of times you may not hear the things that you've asked in the same way. And if you take someone with you, then they can really take in that information more so than you because you have so much on your mind as a ca cancer patient. And I, I basically tell newly diagnosed patients, you have to have a strong support group, someone that's going to, and don't be afraid to ask questions. I may have cancer, but it doesn't have me. So I, I constantly had a positive attitude and a very spiritual attitude. And I think that that's one reason why 
I am sitting here today is because you have to have an open mind and a positive attitude. You know, you can't give up just because you hear that word cancer.